हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड बायोलॉजी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्री सेल ऑर्गेनल्स सेल वॉल साइटोप्लाज्म एंड राइबोसोम्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द सेल वॉल इट इज फाउंड ओनली इन द प्लांट सेल ओनली इन प्लांट सेल it's the characteristic feature between the animal and the plant cell in the plant cell cell wall is present in animal cell cell wall is absent second thing due to the presence of the cell wall plant cell is harder than the animal cell due to the cell wall is made up of the cellulose made up of cellulose cell wall is made up of the cellulose and cell wall is the hard part and the outer covering cell wall is the outer covering of the plant cell three things cell wall is the outer covering of the outermost layer of the plant cell it's found only in the plant cell it's the also characteristic feature of the plant cell next most important thing is the made up of the cellulose cell wall is made up of the cellulose second thing is the second is the cytoplasm cyto means cell plasm means liquid ye the minor se zyada koi zyada koi important hai nahi minor 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 se bahut zyada kuch nahi aata cell wall se agar aata hai to sirf ye most important hai cell wall is made up of the cellulose it's the complex carbohydrate next cytoplasm cell has three main parts cytoplasm cell membrane and the nucleus nucleus completed today we are discussing about the cytoplasm cyto means cell plasm means liquid cytoplasm is the main arena cytoplasm is the main arena of cellular activity it's the jelly like substance it's the jelly like substance in which water is in the most most abundantly formed साइटोप्लाज्म का मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट होता है वाटर उसके साथ अदर सब्सटेंस भी होते हैं फूड वगैरह जो भी है जेली लाइक सब्सटेंस है एंड इट्स द मेन एरिया ऑफ सेलुलर एक्टिविटीज मेन एरिया ऑफ सेलुलर एक्टिविटीज दैट मींस जितने भी सेल के अंदर बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शंस होते हैं दैट मीन्स मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शंस होते हैं वो सब किसके अंदर होती हैं साइटोप्लान के अंदर ऑल सेल ऑर्गेनल्स आर फाउंड इन द साइटोप्लान तो साइटोप्लाज्म इज द मेन एरिया ऑफ सेलुलर एक्टिविटीज सो दैट इज चिलियर नाउ नेक्स्ट टू द राइबोसोम्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज द राइबोसोम वेल राइबोसोम फर्स्ट लेट मी It is it. Ribosome. Ribosomes are the granular cell organelles of the both eukaryotic and you prokaryotic and eukaryotic it's found in all prokaryotes and eukaryotes and in all plants and animals it's the granular structure it's the granular structure granular ka matlab hota hai dandar jo koi bhi cheez dandar hoti hai to uske liye word aata hai science mein granular second thing is ribosomes were discovered by the pelade in 1953 ribosomes were discovered by the pelade in 1953 next composed of the rna and the dna rna and protein ribosomes kiske bane hote hain rna and proteins ke the next is is the non membranous non membranous diagram mein sirf is ka aata hai most important characteristic feature is that help in 
protein synthesis. That means ribosomes helps in the protein synthesis, most important process in the cell. So these are most important characteristic feature is that function, most important functions of ribosome is that the ribosomes help in protein synthesis, most important. And these are of two types, 70S and 80S. Prokaryotes में होते हैं, ये होते हैं prokaryotes में, ये होते हैं prokaryotes और ये eukaryotes. That is sufficient in the ribosomes. Ribosomes, granular structure, they help in protein synthesis. They are the non-membranous, कोई कोई outer covering नहीं होती, basic चाहिए eukaryotic cell में है. They are composed of the RNA and proteins of cell के अंदर जितनी भी proteins synthesis होती है सब में ribosomes help करते हैं ribosomes two types होते हैं seventy s eighty s यहाँ s का मतलब sedimentation coefficient seventy s होते हैं prokaryotes में और eighty s type के ribosomes होते हैं eukaryotes में that is sufficient for today the today we had discussed the three cell organelles we will meet in the next video with the another topics of this chapter thanks